A group of scientists say they have discovered by luck what they believe is the world's northernmost island off Greenland's coast. In July, the scientists flew to collect samples to what they thought was Udak Island, that has been known since 1978. But when they checked their position with the Danish official in charge of registering Arctic islands, they were 800 meters, 2,625 feet, further north. The 60 by 30 m island is the closest point of land to the North Pole, they say. Greenland is a vast autonomous Arctic territory that belongs to Denmark. The island was discovered during a Danish-Swiss research expedition, which I was coordinating. Scientific leader Morten Roche of the Arctic Station in Greenland, University of Copenhagen, told the BBC. We wanted among many other things to visit to Deck Island, which was previously known as the northernmost island. Mr. Roche said his team wanted to sample the island to look for new species being adapted to a life in this very extreme environment. We were six people in a small helicopter, and when we reached the position of Udak Island, we could not find it, he said, adding that maps were not very accurate in that part of the world. So, we just started to search for the island. After a few very exciting minutes, we landed on a strange unvegetated bunch of mud, moraine deposits and gravel surrounded by sea ice on all sides, not a very friendly place. After the expedition and many discussions with specialists on the topic, we have now realized that we by accident actually discovered the world's most northerly island. Mr. Roche told the BBC that from a scientific perspective it was not a big deal. But, from a personal perspective it is, of course, somehow funny to be among those six people ever on Earth who have had muddy boots at the most northerly point in the world. The scientists now want the island to be named Kekertak of Anarluk, which means the northernmost island in Greenlandic. Greenland has hit the headlines several times in recent years, with then-President Donald Trump suggesting in 2019 that the U.S. could buy the territory, 